Hey everybody, so today I'm going to do a tutorial for this look right here. This look is one of my favorite looks of all time, and it is a look that I wear so often, both like on camera and off camera, and it's just this like monochromatic eye. Today I decided to go a little bit more pastel because it is Easter when I'm filming this, so decided to go a little bit pastel with it, but I do it a lot, just this blown out monochromatic eye, and every single time I wear it I get asked to do a tutorial, so that is what I decided to do today. The look is super, super simple, and it is interchangeable with any color scheme that you want to use, which I'll explain in the tutorial. So if you want to see how I got this monochromatic peachy eye, then just keep on watching. Ah! All right, let's get started. Um, I want to start with eyes because I want to start with eyes. I'm first going to take, the heck is on my, ew. I'm first gonna take the BH Cosmetics Smooth Canvas Longwear Primer. I'm just gonna take that with a brush and just pop that all over my eyes. I do prefer applying this with my finger just because it spreads out a little bit easier when it's like warmed up, but your girl got some fake nails on, so I can't do that. Also, do y'all wanna see a video on how I build my own nails? Is that something y'all wanna see? Because I finally have it where it's all cruelty free and you can do like, do basically acrylics at home so and they aren't just press-ons I know I've done press-ons in the past but these ones are not press-ons also I am still slightly sick so if I sound like it that's why so today I'm going to be doing oranges because that's my favorite color to do this look with and it's Easter so we're gonna break into some pastels so I'm gonna break into the strobe cosmetics creepy cute palette I love this eyeshadow palette so freaking much so we're pretty much just gonna only be working with the shade Third Eye. So I'm just going to take Third Eye onto a Wet n Wild blending brush, and we're just going to pop this in the crease. So I like to kind of like pack it through the crease a little bit, and then blend back and forth. Look how effortless these blend. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. And again, no matter what color you're using for this, it's the same technique, just whatever colors you want. Just take a lighter color all over and through the crease, and then we'll deepen it up with a darker color. Like I said, we're also gonna take this all over. So I'm gonna take this little Wet n Wild Large Shadow Brush, and we're gonna pack this. We're gonna pack this on the lid. These are so milky and neon, I love them. All right, then we're just going to deepen it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take the shade Poppy from Makeup Geek. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of this orange shade right here that is Early Bird. I'm just gonna mix those together a little bit. I'm gonna take this on a Golden Triangle blending brush from Delium Tools, and we're just going to pop this through the crease. So again, you know if you're doing this with like blues, do a lighter blue all over the lid and up into the crease and then take a slightly like a medium blue to deepen the crease. And you can like deepen this as much or as little as you want. I usually prefer to deepen it not too much so that it just kind of looks like a shadow of the same color as opposed to two different colors if that makes sense. And then I also take it on that outer corner just to kind of wrap it around. And while I have my Makeup Geek shades in front of me, I'm just going to take a little bit of Mirage, one of my favorite brow bone highlights, and I'm just going to pack this on my brow bone. And I always go back with my blending brush and just blend my brow bone shade into my transition shade. I'm obsessed with this look. I'm gonna take just a little bit more of Just Poppy and just deepen it ever so slightly more right in this outer corner. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna take the same colors on our lower lash line, but that's pretty much it for the eyes, so let's just get started with face. All right, so today I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in the shade Fair. I actually have been really, really loving this foundation when I apply it with a brush. I don't know what it is, I just love it so much more when I apply it with a brush. All right, so I'm just gonna take that with my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush and just start blending this all over my skin. 
it lasts a really nice amount of time on my skin. It doesn't like get super oily. It's just a really like solid foundation. It's not like the most long lasting. And like the days that I've tried it have been days that I was sick. So obviously like I was blowing my nose and stuff. So it really had to like hold up. But it looked really pretty. Alright, then I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 5 Porcelain. I'm really stoked that they expanded their shade range. Because I've the like I've gotten a lot of comments that like this shade is too dark for a lot of people. And they expanded it both ways, like light and dark side. And they came out with a white concealer. So so clutch. I can't wait to pick that up. Then I'm just going to blend it in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Which y'all, I just found a four pack of these on in like the clearance section of Walgreens for $8.99 for four of these. That's like the price of one. So it probably, you know, it's kind of a hit or miss thing because it is, I found it like in the clearance section. But just stop by Walgreens. Walgreens is, has the come up sometimes. Then I'm gonna set my under eyes with my Kat Von D Locket Translucent Powder. I'm just going to set all over my face with my handy NYX Set It and Don't Fret It powder. Alright, let's finish up the face and then we'll go back to eyes and finish that up. So for contour slash bronze, I'm going to take the Tarte Tardis Pro Glow to go and take the Sculpt shade from it. I might pop on another warmer bronzer too. Because especially with orange eyeshadow like this. I like to keep my face nice and warm too. I don't know, just like stick with the monochrome. It's so nice. Then I'm going to take the ColourPop Press Bronzer in the shade Private Party. This one is nice and warm. So we'll just, just we'll kind of warm up the whole complexion. Then I just want to do something, something, you know, similar for blush. So I'm just going to take this nude shade from the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush Palette and just dust it towards the back of my cheeks. Ooh, that was a little bit more pinky, but that's okay. It's still so pretty. And then for highlight, I'm going to do something kind of bold. You know, I talked about this in my favorite highlighters, so I'm going to use this today. This is the Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights Highlighting Palette, and I'm going to take this gold shade right here. It's so pretty. I haven't used this in so long, but it's stunning and so wet and reflective. I'm just gonna take my tiny little brush to highlight my nose. Boom! Okay, let's finish up the under eyes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take the same brush that we used to deepen our crease, and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more third eye from the palette, and just blend it on my lower lash line. Then, again, I'm just gonna go in with Poppy and Chickadee and just deepen it up. I'm gonna deepen it up mostly towards this outer edge of my eye. I'm just using the same brush. Just keep it simple. Okay, and then I want a pop in inner corner highlight. So I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and the same highlight that we used for our face. I'm just going to wet my brush really quick with just a little bit of setting spray. Again, just pop that. Hmm, it's a little too dark when it's concentrated like that. So I'm gonna go in with a different highlight real quick. My go-to BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlighting Palette. I'm gonna take the shade Glow on that same brush and just pop it right on top. Yes, there we go. I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the top of my brow bone right here too. Don't judge me, I need to shave my, not shave my brows, I need to wax my brows or pluck them. I need to do something with them, but don't judge me. And then again, as always, go back in and blend that transition shade into the brow bone. So I'm gonna go fill in my eyebrows really quick off camera with my BH Cosmetics um, Studio Pro Brow Pomade and then we'll come back and pick out a lip color. I'm also gonna pop on some lashes. I can't decide which lashes I want yet. Ooh, before I do that, 
I'm all over the place. It's in the it's morning and I'm just all over the place. So before I go do that, I'm just gonna pop on a really, really quick thin line of my Steely Style Stylist Liner. I love doing this because what looks like this, I don't want to do eyeliner, but I want to do lashes. And I'm really bad at applying lashes with absolutely no liner. So I like just doing a thin line of liner to make my life easier when putting on false lashes. So I just literally press this to the roots of my lashes. And that's it. So that way again it doesn't the eyeliner doesn't like distract. I mean this this look would look really cool with winged liner too. But I just like how simple it is with just a line of liner. Okay, now I'm gonna go fill in my eyebrows and pop on some lashes. I'll let you know what lashes I pick when I come back with them on. Okay, let's go. All right, everybody, brows and lashes are on. These are the new, I think they're new, Kiss Foam Mink in the style boudoir. I have been loving the new styles of Kiss Foam Mink that are coming out. These ones are nice and wispy and kind of natural looking, right? Like they could be like lash extensions, which isn't natural, but you know what I mean? I really like how fluttery they are and they're a little bit longer on this side than they are on this side, so it helps kind of, you know, give that kind of cat eye effect. So if you're doing a like winged liner, these would be really good. They are poking me a little bit, but whatever. So we're just going to do some lip liner and lip gloss because it's my favorite. It is my absolute favorite with looks like this. I don't know what it is about it, but I just, I, I can't. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to take the Steely Style, uh, <laughs> Steely Style Semi-Permanent Lip Liner in the shade Hamptons, one of my favorites. And I'm just going to overline my lips slightly. And then just kind of blend it in, like in towards the middle of my lips. Oh. How stunning is this lip liner? Obsessed. I'm just gonna blend a little bit, and then I'm gonna take one of my favorite lip glosses, the Buxom uh, Full On Lip Cream in the shade White Russian. Ooh, yes, honey. All right, everybody, and this is the completed look. Again, it's super easy, and you can like change this monochrome out with any single color, any color. Red, you can do red, and then do a little bit of burgundy in the crease. You can do, like I said, blue, green with a slightly like medium tone green. Whatever you want to do, gray would be really cool. Ooh, I kind of want to do this with gray. That would be so cool. Anyways, super easy. It's one of my favorite looks of all time. I mean, you all have seen this look on my channel. A million and five times and even more times on my Instagram when I actually don't film it so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave I love you all so 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 much and I will see you in my next video bye